Hey fam, this is Monique Nubia Sunshine coming to you today, Sunday, really subdued. Um, it was raining all day today. Oh wow, I can actually see the moon already. And it's not even dark outside. But um, I come to you today as a healer, um, a healer of myself um, and uh, someone who has the ability to awaken the healer in an individual. I won't say that I've healed anyone, but being able to awaken that healer in us is uh, really what I take credit for. Uh, we all are healers in our own right. We all have the ability to heal our bodies. Um, with all the things that are here on this earth, the food and um, the toxins that are in the air and the toxins that are in the water. Um, and, and things that we do to ourselves to make our bodies more of a harmful place for our spirit to reside um, can be changed and reversed. Um, sickness and illness can be changed and reversed. All sickness and illnesses can be reversed. I am a firm believer in that, um, especially in being able to heal myself of um, some wound issues. Um, I've never been a person that has had fibroids. I've never been a person that has um, just excessive wound issues. Um, but I did have a major wound issue uh, with scar tissue and it um, blocking the ability for me to have a proper cycle. So with that being said, and the reason why I share my story is because um, Many of us are, many of us women, and, and some of us men who are dating these women um, don't know the traumas of the women, uh, what, what, what some of us women suffer, and some of us don't even know our own individual trauma of what's going on in our wombs. And we come across all these people that are selling eggs, um, that are selling um, products and things like that that worked for them. Um, that has been proven to work on other people. Um, I'm not going to knock any of the sisters or the brothers or anybody out there that's selling herbs and things like that to help heal wound issues. But we have to know that the wound issues don't just start there. With It doesn't just start with, with um, having infections and that kind of stuff. There is a root cause to a lot of things that goes on in our lives. There's a, there's a root cause that goes on um, in our lives with um, our food, um, the energy around us, the energy in us, and um, things rooted from our wonderful childhood that I always talk about, this, this wounded child thing. Um, we picked up a lot of things growing up and we've absorbed things like we always say children absorb things like a sponge. Uh, well, we were children, and we absorbed things like sponges, and, and we carried those things with us as adults. Some things we dropped off, and some things we kept, and some other things we picked up along the way. So, as we have wounded children, we have wounded adults. We have wounded healers. And it's so important for us to be in the mind state of going to the root cause of, of um, where illness comes from, where infection comes from, where um, cancer comes from, and diabetes, and, 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 and sickle cell. And I know a lot of people are born with sickle cell, um, but um, there, is a, there is a remedy for that. Um, and Dr. Sabi, you know, promotes that remedy. And I, I support that because I've seen changes in people people who were on their deathbed, people who were like near dying and um, was able to um, be revived by changing their lives and um, seeking the assistance of those herbalists and people out there who can assist them in opening the healer in themselves. By no means do I want to discredit anybody that is actually doing healing work, but I would prefer to put it in the terms of the individual really has to find the healing in themselves, the healer in themselves, before they can really um, t participate in uh, remedies and things. You have to say to yourself, I don't want to be sick anymore. 
I want to begin the process of healing my body. So I'm going to seek out this healer. Or I'm going to seek out this individual. Or I'm going to take these herbs. Or I'm going to change my lifestyle. And that's how you begin to awaken the healer in yourself. That's how you begin to um, reach out to all these other sources and say, you know what, I'm going to utilize this source that Dr. Savi recommended, you know, and, and become the healer of myself. And it's about trial and error. It's about trying things, and some things will work with no problem. And then there'll be some other things that just don't work. So you have to keep trying. You know, um, I had lost a great deal of weight in 2010, 2009, 2010, on my own um, through taking um, classes, dance classes, just things, doing activity that I wasn't doing before and taking control of my diet, removing meats out of my diet, um, actually removing meats in 2006, but actually fine-tuning it um, and losing the weight. And then I got comfortable. And um, all the things that I was doing in order to lose the weight, I slowed down um, and I didn't maintain. Now, as a mother of two and a woman over 40, um, there are challenges attached to that in trying to maintain and take off, um, take the weight down or maintain, and I wasn't doing those things. So I had to get back to what I knew how to do. I had to go back to the beginning. And this time, it required me to go back to childhood. It required me to go back to places that I didn't want to go to. It required me to visit certain situations that I didn't want to visit. Um, it required me to do a lot of internal work and looking at myself honestly and looking at the things that I don't like about myself and saying, okay, I am a co-contributor of the pain and suffering that is in my life. I'm the, the number one contributor, not even a co-contributor. Even the people that was in my life that was harming me um, or I felt was harming me uh, was strategically placed in my life by myself, by me. And... Um, them doing what they did um, or me allowing those things to happen or creating the world that I chose um, in the end helped me get back to myself and so um, again I am taking the journey of maintaining a healthy body weight um, collaborating with my mind collaborating with my spirit checking with my energy and making sure everything is in, in alignment. Now, it won't be perfect. Um, there'll be some days that I, do, I would do absolutely great, and there'll be some other days that I'll do the best that I can do for that day, and that's how we have to take it. We can't beat ourselves up. We can't get mad at, at ourselves when we um, don't do or don't stick to a regimen. Start all over again. Know that you are doing the best that you can as you go along, and so, um, I say this message because it's been all about health and wellness today and oh, every day. I always post something every day. But um, just a reminder, just to keep ourselves on point with um, staying alive and staying healthy. Um, this message became really vivid and clear to me. Um, as I mentioned before, when my mom was sick with pancreatic cancer, and I saw how the medical community was uh, lackadaisical about her treatment and just didn't really hear. And so for me, it's been my uh, promise just overall, not to anyone specific, but overall to not see any more people suffer and die from illnesses that um, are created by us in our own bodies. So we can change that around, even if you're on your, on, on your bed literally on your deathbed, um, you can reverse your situation when you ask um, for a little bit of help and open up about your situation to be honest. So thank you so much for listening to me and have a happy Sunday. Peace.